All right, this is part four. I didn't think this would take so long, but that's okay. We're, we only have only five minutes at a time. I mean, if this was a whole class, we'd be done in 20 minutes. So the last thing we did is we figured out our percentages, and we did something called an absolute cell reference, meaning um, for our particular formula, the number signs in here indicate that it's going to stay that particular cell. So even when we copy and paste it, it'll always put that number in there. It won't change it. The other ones are updating the cell based on where it's at. It's going to change from R7, R8, and so on, but it's always going to be divided by that cell. And again, we're using a cell reference so that if this changes, if that number changes, if we add tests, we add quizzes or anything, it'll update all of these numbers. You know, if I, if I decided, wow, everybody did so bad on the final exam, uh, I'm going to give you 10 extra points. You know, whatever you got, it's going to be out of 40 instead of out of 50. If I did that, um, it would change all their grades. This person would get 100% because they got extra credit, 8 points on there. But I'm going to go back and make it 50. So there's the, there's the grade. So notice because we're using a cell reference, everything will constantly update. So th these are the grades that we have here. And you could put in your grades based on our in number 8. It says put in the grade. So you could just type in the grades. I'm not going to do that now because um, I, I, I want to move on to the next thing. So I'm going to move on and do number 9, which is a header footer. That's a little bit different. And where we do that for header footer, and it's a little different on a Mac, so but on Windows, when we do a header footer, we use we use insert. And we have to look over here for insert header footer. When it does that, it shows it in print layout mode. And it shows like three sections. So you could go here and do um, the name that's, these are just like my grade sheets, DRD 131. And I'll, uh, and it's, there's an A, and I'll hit return, and I'll put instructor. This is the way we have to fill out our grade sheets um, when I submit them at the end, at the end of the semester. Started. I typed great. Okay, this would be me. All right, and then in the middle, I'd put the course that I was working on, and it, it's already centered. You could change these. You could change the font. You could change anything you want. But I'm enter entering things into the header and footer, which means it would appear on every page, just like in Word. And then on the right side, I'm putting just the semester. So I'll put fall 2011, and that's my and that's my header. Now, if I wanted to change the font I would just go to my home tab and highlight these and change the font okay now now I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll down here and see if there's a footer usually when you add a header there's a footer already added so I'm gonna click down here and I'm just gonna type signature because on these grade sheets that we hand in and I'm just gonna hold hold down the shift and the dash just to make an underscore kind of underline I'm not doing anything special I'm not using any leaders anything like that so I'm just putting signature and date, and I'm just putting that at the bottom, and that'll appear at the bottom of every grade sheet. So that's my that's my header and footer. Now to get out of this mode, I could just go back into I, I was in page layout mode. That's what happens when you go into view header footer or insert header footer. It goes into page layout mode. You can see down at the bottom page layout mode. If I want to go back to regular mode, I'll go over here to normal, and now it's back the way it was. So if I wanted to see what my header and footer looked like, I could go to page layout mode, and I could go back to normal mode to keep working. So that's what I'm going to do to keep working. Now, one more thing here on number, we're down to number 10, so we're almost done with this thing. <laughs> Hopefully we won't have too many more uh, parts to this. But I'm just going to color code my assignments. These cells up here, B2 through K2, they're my assignments. I'm just going to color code these. It'll just help me for what I do next. I'm going to use this like the salmon or orangey color. This kind of light orange, the second one of the orange. And then I'm going to go over to these things P1, P5. Those aren't cell numbers, those are project 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But it's cell L2 through P2. And actually, you know what? I just messed that up. So let, let me let me change that. Uh, no fill. Actually, I want it over the numbers, actually. So I want it down here under the numbers, uh, the values. So I'm going to go down here where the values are, and I'm going to do the same thing. Give it that light orange color. Then I'm going to do the green, a light green color. And then, or I'm sorry, this last one should have a different color. For the final exam, it should have a different color. So I'm going to use this kind of reddish burgundy color right here. So I'm going to color code that. And that will help me down here for my assignments. I'm going to color code these the same way. I'm going to use the orange. Um, for projects, I'm going to use the green, and for final exam, I'm going to use that red color, and I'll stop there.